Welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you um, how to generate a layer package in ArcMap. So I'm going to use some demonstration data, and you can use your own data um, because the process will be um, pretty much the same. So I have a candy layer in Los, uh, in California um, and I'm going to also add another layer Let's see if I can get them point yeah I'm going to get the points of the 606 projects and you can have any GIS layer in Shapefile or um, geodatabase formats. So, assuming that's the one that I want. Yes. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to do complicated analysis here. Um, and you may have gone through your analysis process. You may have, you know, do um, a lot of overlay, feature calculation, and etc. And um, Eventually, you generate your analysis map, and um, and then you also have edited the um, the symbols, and you know, and changed the look of the the maps, and now you are ready to share uh, your results with your um, instructor and classmates. So let's say I'm going to just do a little bit of editing with the um, with the layer. So I just make some simple edits and change All right, so a little bit big All right so you can do whatever edit you want so I have some pink dots which indicates um, the locations of 606 projects and I do have a California boundary so let's say I'm not gonna do fancy changes I just you know want to uh, show the boundary of each of the counties all right, and you can also do labeling and other major changes. Let's say I want to label the uh, name of the counties. All right, so I do have them labeled. And well, certainly, looks like at this scale the dots uh, still seem a little bit big. So I can further change, right? So and then, all right, so you're happy with your map, and um, so you do want to share it with your teammates and your um, um, collaborators and you want to uh, send them a um, layer package which also contains the data so that they can just receive your data and open them right away without having to um, you know okay get the data and then trying to link the data to the layers which uh, usually takes some time and if you just send them the data then you know they they were not clear on how you want to read the data or re represent the data or interpret the data so okay let's say you've done all your editing or your analysis and you're ready to share so um, to generate layer package the first thing you need to do um, when you have all your layers and their edits ready you go to right click a layer and then go to properties This is a very important step because if you skip this step, then you are likely to have to come back um, to to fill in the description and credit source, right? So I would just put studio description. This layer contains the Western data base and the location of the previous 606 projects. All right, let's say, you know, I give a very simple description. And then you have another layer. You have to do this for all your layers. Um, otherwise, you cannot proceed. Um, I think S3 uh, intend uh, to do this to um, force the data um, sharer 
to provide basic metadata about a layer. Otherwise, you may receive a layer but have no idea about what is it and what is it about. Um, and kind of it makes it difficult to to uh, distribute the data to a wider uh, user group or audience. So this one is just county boundaries for California. And well, you can certainly put more um, their credit. Um, 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 I believe I get it from um, caldata.arc cal um, forget exact the address but alright so I'll, I'll put California State GIS for now um, I may update it later on with the more accurate information. So now you have that edited. Now you can select all the layers um, to get ready. Um, if you have more layer than two, then you're going to have to select all of them. And you can say create, right click them, and click on create layer package. And you are still going to provide um, layer description. All right, so. Um, Again, so even you already provided by individual layers, but you still have to fill out these information. Let's say um, this is this package contains two layers. So six presidents and All right, let's say I'm trying to make it real simple here, right? So you can do a better job. Text is required, right? So county boundaries maybe. Right, six or six presidents, something like that. And you can provide, you know, access and user constraints if you want, um, or I can skip that. And then you can also add additional files. Um, I appreciate if all of you can generate a um, like a text file, right? So you can you can do a simple text notepad right so you notepad and then you can name it right you can name it um please read me to understand my data so you provide a little bit of a description and provide uh what is the major analysis result and and some basic information about the metadata and how to understand um your symbols and things like that um and you can save it I'll just put it on desktop for now, right? You can do a read me and maybe put your name. I'll just put my name and so that I can tell because I, I may get a bunch of read me so that I can distinguish, say, right? So of course your, your read me will be a longer, but you know, in this case, I just make it short. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to locate my read me, right? So you could put it in the same folder as the data or well, that way you can uh, organize your things a little bit better because I just created um, from uh, scratch for this demonstration so I just put it on desktop you can analyze first to see if there's any error any mistake um, any issues with the package uh, if nothing is wrong then you get you know a zero error zero warning sometimes you got some warning Warning means that you can still move forward, but you know it better that you uh, address them um, before you move ahead to share. If you click share, and I believe it should also allow you to um, 
Okay, so it already created in a default location. Um, there should be somewhere that you can choose where you uh, where you save. Let me try again and right. Yeah, there should be somewhere you can. Oh, there there is a. Uh, yeah, I forget that you know you can actually. I jump on the layer description first and then. Um, and then didn't go back to the first uh, item. So if you go back to the first item, you can choose where you want to save, right? So you can um, obviously I'm gonna use that one, but you know you can save it to whatever folder you want. Uh, in this case, desktop, and um, and you can have other choices such as include enterprise geodesk base instead of referencing the data uh, package schema only. And um, well, obviously, you know, I have to refill the item description, and I'm not going to do that. So basically, you have to go from the top to the bottom and make sure that you know you have everything included, right? So I make a mistake by somehow, you know, the the item direct me to the item description first, and I forget about layer package. So if you run into that scenario, you can go back and um, you know. Otherwise, it will kind of save to a folder that you worked before, uh, and then you have to locate the data that way. So I'm not gonna redo it because I already have one, and I'm gonna just uh, skip that, and I can locate my package file, right? So I know that it it got dropped into um, one of the folders. I'm gonna check um, if you don't mind forget exactly where did it go but probably week A if I remember wrongly yeah there you go so I do have it here and um, I can move it to my desktop right so um, and you know I can keep that data I can send it it's it it, it works like a shape a uh, zip file and if you send it to someone through email or OneDrive or other cloud space when they download that, they can just double click to open it. And um, it will automatically launch uh, ArcGIS and uh, you don't have to uh, open the program first uh, and then click that um, layer package. Now you can see that I, I have exactly everything including the symbols and the colors and the labels and everything so this way can allow you to preserve your analysis result and share it with your uh, collaborators and if you go to unzip you can extract it and you will have a folder and actually within that folder you can see that right so there are different uh, versions of the you know the two layers are there and then um, you know I believe there's somewhere that you can find the readme data yeah I'm here so if you go to common data user data so I can find your readme so um, yeah that's how it works and uh, um, you know I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration